Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the James Oldowitz Central High School here in DeWitt, New York. It's senior day and the final basketball game of the season. Pass intercepted by Withers. You cannot escape the long arm of the law, but apparently the law can be called for a foul. Jimmy Ferns controlling to Birchall right to Buffalo around the horn. Bounce pass underneath the lane. Cerrone says, no thank you, give me that. But the Spartans take it back. Now Ferns on the run, puts one up. And it's just a prayer. Shumpert playing some board games. Gunther Schnorr has been absent for the last few games. He has been a sorely missed presence for the Red Rams, but it's nothing they can't make up for as Marshall Withers nails his first three of the day of what we're expecting to be many. Last game, he put up seven. That's correct. The number after six. 2.30 left in the first half. Virgil Wright tries to get in off the hands of Hotailing, so he has to swing it out to Ferns. Ferns, three people there off the foot of Coburger, taken away by Moscato Buffalo. Now it goes back to Nick Brown. Who draws a foul, looks like there was a little bit of contact on the leg. Just over a minute left in the third quarter. Off the mark for Ferns. No one there for Withers. And the Eagle has landed. One small step for a man, but one giant leap for Marshall Withers. Brown back out to Moscato Buffalo. He's got 30 seconds to work with, and he no longer has a shot clock. And you know what that means? We're going to be standing around for a little bit. That is the start of the fourth and final quarter. Red Rams down by three. They've been down for most of this game since they went up 5-1 at the beginning, but it has been extremely close this whole time. These teams so evenly matched in talent, but Preston Shumpert goes above and beyond here. Take this, don't tell your mother I gave you this. Preston Shumpert so effortless, getting balls and baskets, kind of like your grandmother sliding you a $20 bill when she shakes your hand. Brown, stutter step, taken away by Withers. Civil asset forfeiture from the Sheriff. Virtual right all the way out to hoteling. Now it's Buffalo, who's been held to just three points. 25 seconds, hoteling puts it up one-handed. Preston takes it, but it's taken away by Brown. Overshoots it, Keeler with the board. And he is purposely fouled by Gavin Hoteling. Withers hanging off the net in celebration. Though he is cautioned by Jeff Ike. No reason to celebrate until it's over. But it is a fittingly exciting end to what has been an exciting basketball season. The Red Rams up by one with their best free throw shooter to the line. One and one for Withers. And it's off. Unexpected, four seconds. Buffalo, Birchall right, hoping for the buzzer beater. Up the glass! One more time! The hero of the day is Nick Brown as the East Syracuse Manoa Spartans take it with just a half a second to go. 48-47, that is your final score. The East Syracuse Manoa Spartans have defeated your James Littlewood Red Rams. And the Red Rams bench, stoic. And who can blame them? They had victory in their sights. A missed three-pointer from Matt Birchall right. And Nick Brown on the other side of the basket makes a field goal he will never forget. The Red Rams despondent, as that is not the end to their season that they had hoped for. And perhaps most crushingly for the Red Rams, there is no next time. That is the end of the 2021 season. And for so many members of this Red Rams squad, that's the end of their high school careers. Their last moments in high school basketball snatched away by Nick Brown. But on the other side of the coin, even if you're a Red Rams fan, you have to be happy for the East Syracuse Manoa Spartans. And especially in a season like this one, in the midst of a global pandemic, you got to look for the silver lining. My name is Sam Gelfand. And on behalf of everyone here at James Oldowitz Central High School and JDTV, we would like to wish you a very good day, wherever you may be.